Commander Xylus stalked the gleaming command deck of his flagship, a shiver of something akin to fear trickling down his segmented spine. It wasn't a sensation usually associated with the Krellian warrior cast, but the latest intelligence briefings from the Federation border were disturbing. Whispers of a monstrous project echoed through the intercepted transmissions. The humans, cornered yet ever defiant, were rumored to be twisting the very concept of mortality. Soldiers who refused to stay dead were resurrected again and again, their battles a gruesome theater of infinite attrition. Xylus had scoffed at first, biological absurdities and propaganda, surely. Yet the reports persisted. Battles won by forces that should have been decimated, human counteroffensives fueled by a terrifying, unnatural resilience. There were even whispers of something called the Phoenix Squad, spectral figures said to embody this monstrous defiance of death. A screen flared to life, a subordinate requesting an audience. Distracted and unsettled, Xylus waved the warrior in. The report was short and clipped, showing a recon team returning from a raid on a remote Federation outpost, and they carried evidence, a mangled data module, pried from a human wreckage with disturbing signs of repeated reassembly. The fearsome Krellian war machine had faced human ingenuity before, their tenacity and adaptability a grudgingly respected thorn in their side. But this was different. This hinted at a darkness within their foes that transcended mere tactical brilliance. A chilling notion took root in Xylus's mind. What if, in their relentless quest for victory, the humans had become something far more dangerous than anything the galaxy had ever faced? The intercepted transmissions, once dismissed as propaganda, gained a sinister weight. The tales of unkillable soldiers now felt like warnings etched in code and blood. Humanity, it seemed, wasn't content to fight to the last breath. They were crafting a way to fight long beyond it. It was more than simple desperation, Xylus realized with mounting dread. The whispers about this so-called Lazarus Resurrection Project hinted at a species unafraid to delve into the very abyss, to twist the laws of existence to gain an edge. And in doing so, they might have stumbled upon a strength far more terrifying than any weapon they had ever built. Xylus acted quickly. The initial shock faded, replaced by the cold calculation that had seen him rise to his rank in the unforgiving hierarchy of the Krellian Empire. This twisted human experiment was not proof of their strength, but a glaring vulnerability to be exploited. If the legends of the Phoenix Squad held true, then these resurrected soldiers were echoes of their former selves, each death chipping away at their humanity, their sanity. The strategic implications were staggering, a legion of shattered, psychologically tormented warriors. This meant it was not an enemy to be feared, but a tool to be ruthlessly wielded. The Krellian Empire, masters of tactical adaptation, could strike while this horrific project was still in its fragile infancy, turning the Federation's weapon against them. His orders went out, swift and brutal. Border skirmishes would escalate, aimed to draw out the Phoenix Squad to isolate these horrific troops. Recon teams were seated across Federation territory, not for sabotage, but for observation. He needed to see these resurrected abominations in action, to gauge the true depths of their degradation. Xylus was no fool. The legends might be exaggerated, human bravado twisting battlefield losses into tales of monstrous heroism. Yet, even accounting for inflated rumors, the kernel of truth was chilling. The Federation was walking a path from which there might be no return. His jaw tightened in anticipation. This Lazarus project, born from human desperation, would be their downfall. The Krellian Empire needed no such monstrous miracles. Their warriors were bred for combat, honed on battlegrounds across countless star systems. They were disciplined, relentless, and unshakably loyal. Against these resurrected human husks, they would be an unstoppable tide. The Federation, in their arrogance, had stumbled upon a power that dwarfed any fleet or tactical advantage. And in doing so, 
they had sealed their own doom. The question was not if the Krellian Empire would crush them, but how swiftly and brutally they could turn this abomination of an experiment into the weapon of their annihilation. The ambush came not with fiery explosions and orbital bombardments, but in the suffocating stillness of a ghost world on the Federation border. Xylus had handpicked this battleground, a desolate moon, its surface a testament to some long-forgotten conflict, scarred and cratered. Ideal terrain to isolate a small strike force and test the true capabilities of these unkillable soldiers. His elite warriors, veterans of a hundred campaigns, melted into the shadows of abandoned structures, their training honed for exploiting enemy weakness. The humans would come, drawn by a well-baited trap and the arrogant assumption of their own superiority. They would come, eager to test their undead legend. Xylus's mouth twitched in anticipation. He would dissect them and then extract every piece of data relevant to their resurrected forms. Phoenix Squad materialized from the dust with unsettling silence. Xylus, observing from a concealed vantage point, felt a jolt of profound wrongness. Yes, there were signs of decay, an unnatural paleness, and a chilling hollowness in their gazes. But the propaganda hadn't lied about one thing, their lethality. They moved with a terrible fluidity, their actions less like soldiers and more like relentless predators driven by an instinct honed in unnatural resurrections. Their resilience was horrifying, carrying wounds that would cripple an ordinary soldier only seemed to be mere annoyances to them. And their eyes, they burned with a haunted manic intensity that chilled even his battle-hardened heart. The trap turned into a slaughterhouse, but not as Xylus had envisioned. His warriors, masters of ambush, were being systematically hunted down, their tactical superiority crumbling before the Phoenix Squad's terrifying determination. It was as if these things reveled in the chaos, fueled by some twisted mockery of valor. The final confrontation was a blur of flesh and blood under the twin moons. Xylus was no coward, but when the scarred, yellow-eyed figure stepped from the shadows and leveled a weapon that pulsed with unnatural energy, he felt a fear no enemy had ever instilled in him. This was not a broken soldier, but something forged in the crucible of forced resurrections. It was a predator given human form. The weapon fired, not with the bark of plasma, but a shriek that tore at the air. Xylus braced for oblivion. And then awoke in a Krellian med bay, his wounds bandaged, his survival a bitter mercy. The battle was lost, his troops decimated. What was recovered of their comms transmissions would tell a story of unanticipated brutality, of an enemy with no fear of death, and a thirst for vengeance that superseded any known military doctrine. Xylus stared out at the vast expanse of space, now filled with a chilling new dread. The Federation had unleashed something monstrous upon the galaxy, and this time it might not be so easily exploited. As reports of similar disasters poured in from every Krellian front in the sector, he finally understood the true terror of the Lazarus Resurrection Project. It lay not in the resurrected dead, but in the echoes of humanity left behind, and the desperation, the ruthlessness, and the relentless fury that came with cheating death itself. News of the repeated brutal engagements with the Phoenix Squad spread like a corrosive poison through the Krellian Empire. Initial shock dissolved into anger, which quickly curdled into a bone-deep dread, unique to a militaristic culture that worshipped invincibility. Xylus, once a rising star, was branded with the shame of defeat, demoted and relegated to analyzing endless intercepted transmissions about these undying human abominations. The very mention of the Lazarus Project brought a cold silence to Krellian war councils. Their grand plans for galactic domination crumbled in the face of an enemy they couldn't truly comprehend. It wasn't the fear of death they faced, but the realization that death itself might become meaningless on the battlefields of the future. But the Krellian Empire was not the only power watching the Federation with a mix of horror and avarice. Across the galactic stage, whispers circulated. 
opportunistic raids on Federation outposts by fringe factions suddenly ramped up, testing the defenses, probing for weakness. A shadow war was brewing, fueled by the terrifying notion that the Galactic Federation, in their reckless pursuit of victory, might have inadvertently reshaped the rules of interstellar conflict for all time. Even within the Federation, whispers of dissent grew stronger. The architects of the Lazarus Project once hailed were now targets of hushed accusations. Public support for such a morally abhorrent program dwindled, replaced by a fear that victory at such a terrible cost would not be triumph, but a descent into a darkness from which even the light of distant stars offered no salvation. Xylus, confined to his increasingly dusty quarters, pored over reports of escalating skirmishes and political turmoil fracturing the once monolithic Federation. He'd misjudged the humans, yes, but not in the way he'd feared. In their arrogance, they had not broken their soldiers with the horrors of resurrection. They had shattered the fundamental order of war, not just for their enemies, but perhaps for themselves. The Krellian Empire retreated, its expansionist ambitions replaced by a grim determination to resecure their existing borders. An uneasy quiet fell over the sector. The Lazarus Resurrection Project, its true potential and the horrors it was yet capable of unleashing, became a dark secret. The Federation, fractured from within, faced by the rising specter of future conflicts, warped by their own desperation. Xylus, the architect of his own downfall, stared at the distorted reflection of the galaxy in the dusty window of his quarters. He saw no glorious conquest, no Krellian dominion stretching across the stars. Instead, he saw the haunted eyes of the Phoenix Squad soldier, a silent accusation mirroring his own failure. The humans had given the galaxy a grim gift and a testament to the chilling truth that there were some victories too terrible to truly be won.